Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the arithmetic mean, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, median, lower and upper quartile values, and sum of all data points of a set using the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. Without further ado, let's get to it. The first set I'm going to work with is as follows. So we have 2, 3, 5, 8, 1, and 9. In order to enter this data into the calculator, press the stat button and this screen comes up. Uh, select edit by simply pressing enter and then these lists come up labeled L1, L2, and so on. And if there are existing uh, entries that you want to clear, if, if you want to delete one particular entry, just have the cursor over that entry and press uh, delete. If you want to clear an entire list, arrow over to the title of the list and just press clear and then press enter. And the entire list will be cleared. Now I'm going to type in uh, the data set. So first I'm going to type in 2 and then press enter, uh, 3, then press enter, 5, press enter, 8, press enter, 1, enter, finally 9, enter. It's usually a good idea to look at the list again. So I have uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 1, and 9. Now in order to get statistical calculations, press the stat button and this time we're going to arrow over to the calc tab. So arrow over to the calc tab and then we're going to select one variable statistics uh, and then press enter or you could uh, type in the corresponding number on the number pad. One uh, variable statistics is just number one so if you press number one on the number pad it will select one uh, variable statistics. Now my list that I'm interested in is L1. If you wanted to change that just press just uh, arrow over to, to L1 and then press second and the stat button to select list and then the list uh, titles come up and I'm going to leave mine at L1 so just press enter and the frequency list we don't have a frequency list we'll work with this in just a little bit and then finally just arrow down uh, at once the cursor is on calculate just press enter and then we finally get all the uh, statistical values that we're looking for first we have the arithmetic mean then we have the sum of all the data points, then we have the sum of uh, the squares of all the data points, then we have sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, and then n is the number of data points we have, so that's 6, the minimum is 1, although we didn't type it in in order, it still identified the minim minimum to be 1, and the lower quartile value is 2, the medium the median is 4, the upper quartile value is 8, and the maximum finally is 9. Now we are going to use the frequency feature. First, let's, cl uh, let's go back to the stats option, and uh, then we're going to go to edit again. So just press enter, or number 1 on the, on the number pad, and this time the data set we're working with is 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 5, 8, 8, 1, 9, 9, 9. And notice what's happening here. A data point is repeated multiple times. 2 appears twice, 3 appears 3 times, 5 appears once, 8 appears twice, 1 appears only once, but 9 appears uh, 3 times. And you can't expect me to type in each of these values more than once. And what we're going to do instead is next to each of these data values, 
2, 3, 5, 8, 1, and 9, which uh, are the data points from last time. I haven't changed the data points, I've just changed how many times they appear in the set. So 2, next to 2, I'm going to arrow over to list 2, and I'm going to type in how many times the value 2 appears uh, in my set, and that's twice. So I'm going to type in 2 and press enter. And then I'm going to type in how many times 3 appears, which is 3 times, so just press 3 and enter. 5 appears once, so just press 1 and enter. 8 appears uh, twice, so press 2, enter. 1 appears once, so 1 and enter. 9 appears 3 times, so press 3 and enter. So just to uh, take a look at what's on the screen, we have 2 appearing twice, 3 appearing 3 times, 5 appearing once, 8 appearing twice, 1 appearing once, and 9 appearing 3 times. This time, what we're going to do is go back to stats again and go over to calculate. Once again, select the one variable statistics, so just press enter. And then my list is still L1 because that's where my data points appear. And in this time, I do have a frequency list. So I'm going to arrow down to frequency and then uh, press second and then the stat button to select list and this time I'm going to arrow over to L2 and select that so press enter now I have my frequency list set as L2 so just arrow down and to calculate and press enter and now notice that my N is 12 because I have 12 pieces in my data set 12 pieces of data in my set so then uh, just like before, all the calculations appear on the screen. I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Also the differential equations and calculus series. And until next time, take care guys.